Hey, free to play gang, welcome back to another video. So, I know a lot of you guys probably already checked out the Daylan Sobek video on uh, the Dislike channel itself, but there is something that I want to add on pertaining to what I understand about his kit and what I can assume about his kit. So, there is some takeaway from this video, okay? Trust me. We're gonna skip his first two skills because I don't really think they matter that much. So, Fire Slash deals one, uh, attacks one time, deals bleeding, which is not that good. And his second skill, Double Slash, deals damage to one enemy based on his attack, has a chance of inflicting stun and defense down, stays the same, right? But the catch is his third skill. So, I'm sure a lot of you guys have already noticed uh, the main difference here, which previously, I think a lot of us assumed that it hits once, even though I, I just checked the patch notes on my video and it did say that that all enemies buffs and debuffs, which is, we just completely misread. <laughs> I completely misread it, okay? I take the blame. So it is supposed to be an AOE attack, yes, but there is one main difference, which is now he reduces the enemy's AP instead of landing diseased. But this is not all that I wanted to share about this video, okay? So this is one of the main takeaways, okay? So right now he strips buffs and he reduces AP at the same time. So what you might consider him to be is like, let's say a turn one AP controlling DPS or something like that. Because if you can strip buffs, you can then, you know, reduce their AP if you removed an immunity buff, for example. But then the problem is we already have a Lucas. And Lucas does the same thing on his third skill. And in fact, Lucas is probably superior because Lucas is currently, I think, the third fastest Esper in the game. He has like 107 speed plus 7, I think, which is 114. I think, I think. I do not have a Lucas. I cannot confirm this. But the thing that I want to talk about is a little bit more hype for you guys. So for Dalen, what I noticed is that the damage that he does on his third skill, which is somewhere here, he does 594 damage without defense break. With defense break, he does 668. Cool. So 594 at level 1, what's the big deal right? What's the point of this? And that's because I double checked Nick's AoE damage on his third skill. Now Nick has a 120% multiplier on his third skill. And Nick is doing, if you can see here, 484 damage. So what Dalen is actually doing is 23% more damage than what Nick is doing right here. And I can almost guarantee that uh, Dalen's AoE damage is probably also going to be about 120%. And I can show you over here just to confirm. So Nick, third skill Skyfall, attacks all enemies, deals 120% attack damage. So I'm going to assume his multiplier is somewhere similar, which means that his attack power itself is about 23% more than Nick, who is a controller. And Nick, his stats at max level, he has almost 1000 attack, which puts Sobek somewhere around 117 something attack. I think this is just mental calculation right now. So somewhere close to 1200 attack, which means that he is actually a pretty decent uh, damage dealer. He's not like Aurelius. Aurelius who has like 963 attack. Yeah, I remember stuff like that, right? So actually a little bit more hype. He actually has the potential to deal pretty decent damage, but uh, there are some other takeaways that I want to share with you guys as well. So someone mentioned in my comments, I think it was, uh, is it Junior? I can't really recall, but he said that there is a sick combo with Tricky. So the thing is, by using Tricky with Dalen and assuming that his, his effect works the way it's intended to, so has a chance to dispel all enemy buffs and debuffs, which means that if you start off with a Tricky taking the first turn, you strip all the buffs, you land a miss rate up. So the miss rate up is super important here because using Dalen next, you're going to use his AoE, cleanse all of those debuffs, and then all of them from having a miss rate up become petrified because Tricky's passive uh, takes place whenever enemies strip their debuffs or rather whenever the enemies cleanse their debuffs. So there is a pretty good combo here, but then again, this is like two steps because you don't need Dalen, you can just bring a controlling Esper. You can probably bring like a Long Mian for example. But the only difference here is that you can build Dalen with a lot of attack power without any accuracy at all because you will only require Tricky's accuracy for Tricky's passive to take place, which is what triggers the petrification. So in other words, you can probably build Dalen pure offense. I think that might work. But then again, you might need accuracy to, <laughs> to cleanse the debuff in the first place. So I'm a little bit confused. But regardless, Dalen is definitely a little bit better than what we expected because Diseased was honestly one of the debuffs that really don't matter at all. But now that he reduces AP, at least, you know, there is something in his kit. And I watched Kovian's video covering this as well. And he did mention something about uh, Dalen possibly countering JJ. I, uh, I believe that this is quite true. I think this is possible. Because at a point where JJ has a standoff buff, he already has a little bit, like just a sliver of HP. Which means that even though this skill might have a lower multiplier of like 100 plus percent, it should still be enough to wipe out the JJ. But another thing that's important to take note of is his second skill. So we're going to go back a little bit. So back to double slash. He does 1187 damage on his skill. And this is incredible. This looks something like 250% multiplier or something like that. So I do feel like he has the potential to be a mini Liling in some cases, right? He's a mini Liling. Except that he has uh, some stunts and all that kind of good stuff. But he, he's definitely different. But anyway, that's it for my initial review on Dalen. I think he is okay. He's definitely better than what I thought. 
Not that interesting in my opinion because uh, Lucas exists, but at least he's going to be like the more offensive version of Lucas, probably. But anyway, let me know in your comments down in the comment section below. I'm curious to know what you guys think about him right now. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed today's content. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and subscribe for more dislike content. Now that's it, this has been Dairy Free to Play. And as always, I will see you in the next video.